Today's passage comes from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. Nehemiah, chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. Let's read together in one voice. This is the word of God. One, two, three. Then I said to them, You see the trouble we are in. Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, and we will no longer be in disgrace. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God on me and what the king had said to me. They replied, let us start rebuilding. So they began this good work. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, today as we learn about building together, I pray that you will uh, speak to our hearts, help us to focus on you, and help us to build a wonderful community of faith uh, in our elementary together. Help us to build together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In our story today, we see that Nehemiah has permission from the king to go back to his homeland to help rebuild uh, the wall so that uh, his homeland, hometown people can be um, in peace and safety. Um, But before he started building, he needed to see what areas needed repair, right? And so he went with, you know, his, his glasses, his tools, just to see where do we need to repair. And I want us to look at our elementary and think and see what areas could we improve and strengthen so that um, our community can be built stronger and, ha- and we could have you know, more fun worshiping God and really enjoy our time together. Okay? Uh, what areas? I want you to share with your teachers uh, after worship and just share some ideas. How can we help improve? How can we strengthen our elementary to make it an even better place uh, to worship God? I think we definitely need a main elementary pastor. Right? I am helping to serve uh, with the sermon, but uh, I would love, and I think we would all love, if we could have um, a main elementary pastor who will help lead um, our elementary students and, and the teachers in a, in a powerful way, right? Do you guys agree? It would be awesome, right? We need that. And um, how do we get that, right? How do we improve on that? We pray. That's what Nehemiah did. When he prayed, what happened? He was able to uh, be saved from uh, being killed by the king when he was sad in front of him, right? Do you remember? He also got permission from the king to go rebuild the walls. All these things happen because Nehemiah prayed. Nehemiah got the support of all these people and they were going to build together. How did that happen? Is it because Nehemiah is a great leader? Yes. But what's the greatest reason? Nehemiah prayed. They prayed and God helped and God answered. Same thing when we are praying for an elementary pastor. We pray together. We say, God, we know you give great gifts to us. We ask that you give. Right? That's how we help build, through prayer. So I hope that you guys uh, could pray for that together. What else would be great uh, for our elementary? I want you to, you know, once again, share with your teachers. But I think right, more students, more activities, more prizes, whatever you want, let your teachers know, and we're going to try our best to make it happen. Why? Because this is your elementary, right? So we need your ideas. Everyone say ideas. Don't just sit there and say, um, you know, I'll let someone else think about it, or I don't really care, right? You, we need your ideas. We need what you want, and we put that together, And we brainstorm, right? And we make something great together, right? How do we rebuild? Through your ideas, through your prayer, through us uh, sharing together. That's how we're going to make and and, and rebuild something beautiful in our elementary service. And so 
um, please do that. And the last thing we need is um, the verse, the last verse we read, verse 18. Let's read verse 18 one more time. One, two, three. And I told them of the hand of my God, which had been good upon me, and also of the king's words that he had spoken to me. So they said, let us rise up and build. Then they set their hands to this good work. The people agreed, yes, let's go. Let's build together. But what, what helped them make that decision? Right? When Nehemiah shared about how God's hand, God's help, was with Nehemiah all throughout the time. So the people believe, yes, God is with us. Let's rebuild. It's not going to be easy, but let's rebuild together. And that's the key for us. Do you believe God is with us as we rebuild? Do you believe God is with us as we pray for elementary pastor? Do you believe God is with us when we bring our ideas together and we help make it a better place? Yes, if you do, we're going to come together, we're going to work together, we're going to trust in God, and we're going to see some great things. Later we're going to see that they were able to build this wonderful and strong wall to protect them from enemies. And they did it because they did it together, and they believed God was with them. Do you believe God is with you? Do you believe God is with us? Then we're going to see some great things happen. So let's rebuild together. Let's pray, let's bring our ideas together, and let's make this an even greater place so that we are excited to worship and we love coming and meeting together to worship God. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word today. And as we help to rebuild our uh, elementary together, um, help us uh, to uh, pray. Lord, that's what Nehemiah did. And that's how all these wonderful things were able to happen. Not because Nehemiah was a great leader. The greatest reason was because you are our great leader. So help us to pray, especially to pray for um, our elementary pastor. We need a pastor, Lord. So please send one. And we know that you will answer our prayer. Help us to bring our ideas together. The things that we would like, the things that we need, the things that will help strengthen our elementary, help us to come together so that we could use these things to help build. Most of all, help us to know that your hand, your help is with us. You won't leave us alone. You will strengthen us. You will guide us as we help rebuild our elementary together so that it will be an even more exciting place to come and worship together. So please be with us and help us rebuild. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.